It's time to focus on seniors with Helping Seniors TV. The television show designed to make you aware of senior issues and needs, as well as to acquaint you with the resources available to help you age in place and with dignity. Now, here's your host, Joe Steckler. I'm Joe Steckler, and welcome to Helping Seniors, the television arm of Helping Seniors of Brevard County. Our show is designed to provide you with information on how to develop your own aging and care plans. Our topic today is medical monitoring systems. Joining me today is Rick Wren, president of RenCare. Welcome, Rick. Good to be here, Joe. Thanks it's for good to have me. you here. Thank you. Yours, I, I was going to, there's a little more I could add to the title of the show today because when I say medical monitoring system, I always like to say home alone help. And I, I did an article, and Rick and I talked about this before. If many of you remember the old uh, McCulkin show where he uh, barricaded his home against those two nuts that were trying to steal something, and it was, it was comical, it was really good. But the name of the show, I think it did a home alone one and a home alone two. But this is another form of home alone help, Rick. So I would like for you to explain to our our viewing audience what is Rencare monitoring. What is that program? What do you do? Well, I'm I'm glad you asked. the uh, The Rencare Medical Monitoring Company I started less than a year ago, but I bring with me about 36 years of experience working with people in homes, trying to keep them independent, safe, and I used to be in the home medical equipment business. Well, when I came to Florida with my wife, I wanted to do the same thing similar down here. So I networked with a company that had over 20 years experience, and their company name is VRI, and they're out of the Midwest. And so I partnered with them, and they have a telemedicine uh, company that have been monitoring people in their homes on equipment for over 20 years, and uh, they shared the same values that I had trying to help people, keep them at home, keep them safe, but they do it a little differently. They have a combination of technology with medical alert devices, medication monitoring, which we'll talk a little bit more in, in length about, and also with the call center that they have, which is a five diamond certified call center. And we'll talk again about some of the differences. So what we're talking about is folks is that, you know, you, you've seen this thing where around your neck has got a, a button and you fall down and you can't get up. And it's happened to me. You just simply cannot get up. All you do is press that button. That triggers a signal in Pennsylvania. No, this is to Ohio. In Ohio. I'm yes, sorry. That's okay. In Ohio. And what is it? What happens then once you push that signal? Well, within five seconds, someone live is going to pick up the phone and uh, start trying to find out what the situation is. Was it a, a false alert? Was it some emergency that needs to be responded to? And um, again, the reason that I really wanted to align myself with a company like VRI was they have the expertise and they put the money and the resources into the training of their call center. And to me, that is a huge difference from what I see on the market today, uh, because they will then contact the next of kin if the person that uh, is wearing the button doesn't respond. And if that doesn't work, then they'll call the, uh, the medical folks locally to come and intervene and, and find out what's going on. Does it bother you when you're watching television and you got this thing that comes on about the 911 caller had all this to say, and you hear some of the inane statements that the that the call center asks the person, and, and all the time, time is ticking away. Certainly, some of the questions need to be asked, but you're right. Uh, you need to respond. You need to get to them quickly, and someone needs to intervene. In many cases, um, what I what I really find as a problem is that a lot of people see all these ads and they think they're all the same, and they're totally different. I mean, you think all the companies are the all same? the companies are different. Why is Rencare and the company you work with? Why are you different from some of these other places? And I and I know I already know the answer, but I want the viewers to know the answer yeah. because I think that uh, understanding uh, 
certain financial things, certain uh, uh, home loan help type things, uh, how to better use some of our long-term care products. These are all things that seniors today and boomers are going to have to think about if they want to successfully navigate being an older person. No, you're absolutely right. And um, give you a couple of examples. Uh, the one thing that uh, I like about our system is that there are no upfront cost. Uh, there are no setup fees. There are no purchasing of equipment. Uh, there are no long-term contracts. It's a month to month. If you don't like it after two months, you can stop and you don't have any uh, expense. You also don't have uh, to figure everything out yourself. We'll send someone to the home within about a 48-hour period if you're interested in, in equipment, and then they'll actually set it up for them, no additional charge. What kind of equipment is it? What, are, what, are they do, what kind of equipment do they put on you? What do they put in your house, Rick? Well, it's going to depend, Joe. Uh, it's going to depend on if they're using just a basic call alert system, which you've identified, or if it's going to be maybe a medication tray or even a combination of the two. But typically, it's only a piece of equipment with the little call button and a little docking tray if it has a battery because uh, we have a mobile care unit that is completely mobile. And it's tied to an AT&T internet service. And anywhere you pick up AT&T, it will track you. If you fall, it will actually let the call center know where you're at and that's the GPS, GPS, the aspect. GPS tracking. Do system. all these medical alert systems have the GPS? No, not all of them do. Um, and that's another thing. But again, the, knowing the technology that is available is important, but just as important is going to be then that call center because you can have the technology, but not the people at the call center that know what they're doing, know how to respond in a timely fashion. And uh, those are all the things that I liked about uh, the VRI why, system. Well, okay. What have they done? Is it VRA? VRI. VRI. What has VRI done to make you so uh, supportive of their call center? Why does it, or how does it differ from, there are all kinds of medical alert programs. What, what makes VRI significant? Well, a lot of things. Uh, the, the, the call system itself has a certification from an outside source, which very few medical call centers do and they've got a five diamond certified call center. And that's important. The other thing they do that's different is they encourage people to use that call button. Some of the systems out there only want you to call in an emergency. One of the things that, uh, that they do is if, if they have someone that just wants to go out of their house to the mailbox and back, or if they have somebody knocking at their door and they're not feeling comfortable, they're encouraged to call on the call button and Why? have somebody Why hang on. That, that way they have a sense of someone's there with me. If there is a problem, they're going to be right there. Uh, they feel like they're in the home with them. Wait a minute. You mean, if, if, so, if, you're, if you're at your front door and you're going to go out to your mailbox, and you, you might be a little concerned about mm -hmm. it. You can press the button and, and a voice comes on, a voice will be talking to you while you walk out to get your mail? While you're walking or they'll say, while you're walking out, I'll stay on the phone and then I uh, won't hang up until after you get back and you feel comfortable. So there's got to be more than one person at that call center. Oh, yes. Uh, that call center is, is fantastic. I actually had an opportunity to sit down and spend an hour listening in to how they uh, interface with our customers. And it was a great education for me. Do you get people, do they get people that say, might just be lonely and call? Oh, absolutely. They do that? Oh, absolutely. And they encourage it. They want people to call. That's different. It is different. And that's what I liked. I like the way that they interface with our, our customers and the way that they encourage our customers to feel like they're part of the family. That's, you have the button around the neck. Are there, are there other ways to have this system put on you? Yeah, you can also use it as a clip on a belt. And that way some people, I think, feel a little self-conscious about having it hanging around their neck. Um, although they're not that big, uh, the technology has gotten amazing, um, but they can wear it as a belt clip and uh, that way it's not maybe uh, seen as much. Does the call center, and I, I, ne I know I've never asked you this, but does the call center ever test the system to say like call somebody and ask them if they have their button on? Oh, yeah. Uh, we're always yeah, always checking back with people. We, we encourage people to at least call in once every month 
just to see if the system's working, even if they don't need it. And then they will call people periodically. Um, if, if somebody has the button on them, how far away can they be and have a problem and have a system pick up? So let's say if, 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 if they left the house and they, of course, it's, it should be their responsibility to put the button on their, either wear it or, or put it on their waist, on their belt. Right. But if they didn't do that, how far? Well, it's, it, so depends, it depends on the units because we have a land-based unit with a landline phone. And a lot of people are using either the uh, landline or now digital landline phones. Uh, those will go anywhere from 300 to 600 feet. So they, they'll usually handle within the home itself uh, someone that ne needs a service. If you're going to be getting out of the house, you need to go to something like the mobile care unit that has the AT&T uh, internet connection. Um, some people don't have landlines anymore, and they just use their cell phones. Well, let's say somebody does. They have their cell phone. If they have their cell phone and they don't have their cell phone on, but the cell phone's in that, and now they could potentially get up to a distance of five or 600 feet from right. that cell phone and have us if they got their button on, right. still have it activate. It still needs to be within the house even for that cell phone use. Say it again? They need to be within the house for the cell phone use as well, unless you go with like a mobile care unit, which would take you outside of the house. So if you want the system to work outside as well as inside, you need a mobile care unit. Correct. Okay. There's another aspect of that, that that I want you to spend more time on because, and you mentioned it, you talked about the medication aspect of the uh, Rencare system. Yes. Please tell our viewing audience down to an infinite detail about what that system is, what it does, and how it can really protect somebody that requires medication at specified times. Because I don't think other programs have what you have here. I don't think all of them do. There are a few out there that do, but uh, the medication or med alert system that we have is uh, probably one of the most underutilized uh, programs. And uh, we found out that most people that cannot stay in their houses any longer, the number one reason is they can no longer manage their medication regimen. That's so they, they go to assisted living facilities. So, yeah. yeah, they go to assisted living or they'll go to long-term care facilities. And although the, those, those facilities are great and they take care of people, a lot of people would prefer to stay in their own homes. So what we have is a monitoring system where you have a tray, it's a round blue tray, and you have someone to load that. You have to have somebody to load it with your medications. You can have up to four medications per day. And that tray then is monitored through our call center. And it will alert with a signal when it's time to take the medication. If the medications aren't taken within a 30 minute period, then it will alert the call center and the call center will begin calling people to find out, are they just forgetting and maybe they're out and about using their cell phone and they've forgotten to take their medication? Is there another reason why they've forgotten? It's very vital in many cases that these people use those medications when they're supposed to. And, and just as importantly, some people take their medications more than they, they forget that they've taken them. They've taken them twice. This yeah. is a great reminder. That's a great way it prevents that from happening. How long, when you load a tray, how long will a tray load last? Usually about 30 days. You've got a 30-day regimen. You don't have to do it weekly. 30 days? 30 days for up to four uh, per day. Well, you know, after we did this, on, after we talked about this on a radio show, I got a, I got to do a little calculator work. And uh, you're right. The um, Well, the... Major causes of people going from in-home care to long-term care or monitor care of some type is the fact that they they get their medicine screwed up, and that's one of the biggest problems they can cause. So, if you have if you have a home care uh, company come to your home, they always charge in a block of service of two hours. About the most minimal cost is $32 for the two-hour block of service. So if they came once a day, 32 times 30, 
30 days a month, we're talking roughly $1,000 to check to see if the medication has been missed one day. What is the cost of the Rencare monitoring system to include the prescription drug thing? How much does that cost a month? The tray monitoring device itself is thirty two ninety five a month, no tax. So it's very cost effective, and that's the way it needs to be. Um, if you use that in conjunction with a call alert device that's just for the home, not a, a mobile alert device that goes outside of the home, it's thirty nine ninety five. So very cost effective. So the the the, the medical alert system on the prescription thing, the total is thirty nine. If you put the two together, yes. That's about what it costs to come to the house for a home health aid. Come one time a day, one day. Well, you have to make it cost effective. One of the things that we find is people are always saying, "I can't afford the extra dollar per day." Basically, is what they're looking at, or a little bit more. And I understand that money has always been tight and is going to continue to be tight. But you think about the, the risk of falling, the risk of not taking your medication, and then what happens? And then how much does that cost? And, and worse than that, what happens to your health? Um, on the fall alert devices, for example, uh, if you're over 60 years of, of age, it's not if you're going to fall, it's when you're going to fall. Yeah. 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 The statistics are... Uh are becoming more significant because we're living longer. Right. So our periods of having an opportunity to fall have greatly increased. And we need to be smarter about what we're doing to make ourselves safe. Uh, you know, I, I've tried. <laughs> I had not done a lot of research into the medical alert systems. I, I simply had not. But since I started looking into your product, I, uh, I've i been wondering more and more why the government hasn't incorporated something like this into our Medicaid system. It's, it's a, to me, it's a no-brainer. It, the cost is extremely low, and, and we're talking about medical alert plus prescription alert for about $40 a month. And, uh, yeah, there's, there's no way you can duplicate in terms of cost effectiveness. I agree. And I think you're going to see a lot of changes in that in that field. I think they're identifying that if they spend a little bit of money, and it may not be for everyone, it may be for people only with certain diagnoses that they, they will pay for. But if they see that maybe somebody with dementia or early Alzheimer's, for example, on the medication, that it's more cost effective to pay for a tray and keep them safe in their home than to pay for them in, in some institution. Well, I think about a medication called Dijoxin. People that are heart patients that take Dijoxin can only take it so often, and they, there's supposed to be a time spread between the time you take it, if you take it morning and night, because if you take it too close, you get an a you get an excess, and you, or you the toxins uh, are more harmful. So, by not taking your medication, certain medications for heart patients, if you don't take them with the right break of time, like the time in between medication doses, you 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 increase the negative effects of the medicine. Mm -hmm. So it it, it it and that triggers. Emergency room costs, exactly. ambulance costs, 9-11 responses, and all that could be stands a good chance not being completely eliminated if we have do a better job of really investigating the use of these medical alert systems like the one you're talking about. In conjunction with that, we also have a program that are actually targeted toward Medicaid HMOs and insurance companies. Um, and they are a little bit more involved because they get into monitoring weight, blood pressure, and everything like that. And then their call center is in the same building, but it has clinicians answering the phone. Wait, wait, wait. You have a system that somebody can wear that monitors blood pressure and stuff? 
Well, what they do is they take the blood pressure with the cuff that we give them, and then it sends a signal to our call center. Okay. And in those cases, we're monitoring people maybe with COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or chronic right heart failure for insurance companies. And that way, we can keep a close eye on those folks and let the healthcare professionals know maybe if they've forgotten, if they're gaining weight, they, they have a scale that they, they get on daily, and maybe they're retaining water. So they're, they're all of a sudden, they're having a spike in their weight. Uh, those are the indicators that they're looking for. So their monitoring goes beyond the, uh, the medication monitoring and the uh, medical alert devices. But those are more of groups with Medicaid HMOs and insurance companies. What you're kind of talking about is a portable intensive care unit. Yes. That's what I'm thinking about. Because when you, if you're a heart patient and you look, you're in the hospital, they got you hooked up everything and they're watching all the spikes and everything. You got all these nurses and, and technicians sitting out to the desk and watching all these things for the patient, maybe in seven or eight rooms. And here's your, your call center could be monitoring thousands of people. That's true. Now, we do not take the place, though, of the other healthcare professionals. We, I, the way I see it is we work in conjunction with them. You still have your home health agencies. And the other folks and the physicians, of course, doing their part, we're just taking one step because we're in that home all the time with the monitoring. And it's cost effective. Yeah, you're uh, you're 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 hitting an area, Rick, that uh, many nonprofits uh, buy for the same dollar, and they're always concerned about a new nonprofit coming on the street because they think they're going to take money away from them. And the medical system does the same thing. Right. When you when you build a new uh, a nursing home, you build a new hospital. That's why you had to have certificates of uh, what do you call them? Need certificates of need. Yeah. yeah. And uh, but you got you, you have to have a basis for doing these things. And I, I like our our. our uh, media guy for this uh, for our programs talks uh, he has a saying and he uses uh, that helping seniors is, is is doing something to complete exactly not compete and the medical alert program completes the awareness system and the protection system absolutely what else about ren care that our should our viewer know that that you know that I that I don't know um, one of the things that I like about this system also is that our, our again, our call center, they, they go the extra step. If they have a, an emergency call and they have to contact the, um, the life squad to come out and take someone to an emergency room, for example, they don't stop there. And a lot of the call centers do. What they do is they'll then contact the next of kin, let them know, hey, just want to let you know your mother is going to be at this hospital so it completes that loop and lets them know more of the information. I forgot about that. You talked about that on the radio show. Yes. So once they alert the 911 emergency response team, then they go through the data. They collect the status so yes. know next to kin and stuff, and they make that phone call. Correct. They that, call that double loop monitoring is the, the term they use. But they go around and making sure that everyone's in the in the uh, a line of communication, that they understand what's going on, where are they at, how are things done? And I think that's important. So somebody could get those types of services with a medical alert button and a prescription monitoring tray system for thirty nine ninety five a month to thirty nine ninety nine. Yes, that's for the landline system. If you landline. go to the mobile care system, which is the one that has a GPS tracking, the fall alert system, everything incorporated into that unit, you can go anywhere you want as long as you have an AT and T service. That one is forty four ninety five by itself, so it's still cost effective. So, what would what would be the uh, cost of the of the total unique package? The, the 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 medical monitoring, the GPS, and the medication tracking system. If somebody got those on a monthly basis, what would that whole thing cost? Them? If you go with with that combination that you just outlined, you'd be looking at. Uh, $75 a month. $75 a month and for the peace of mind that gives you. I I, I, I know, viewer, that there, I, I would challenge any of you listening to uh, or watching Rick and, and me talk today about this. 
would not agree that a peace of mind engendered by paying $75 a month to know that you haven't doubled your medication or forgotten to take your medication or you were concerned about your balance one day and you worried, well, who's going to pick me up if I fall? Yeah. Actually, with your with your with your alert system, somebody can just push the button and say, "I have a problem," and they'll they can talk to them and tell them what the problem is, and they would be able to tell the nine one one people. That's correct. And if and even if you can't talk in that uh, care care um, uh, device that we have that's mobile, even if you can't talk, if you've fallen, the satellite will tell that signal that there's a fall here. Not somebody sitting down. Someone's fallen. How can I do that? I don't know. It's way above my. I thought you were a technologist. <laughs> <laughs> but it will it will actually monitor the the uh, the um, type of incident, the type of fall, how fast the fall was, signal it to the call center, and then also allows them then to communicate directly through the button to the person. And if they don't respond, they know where they're at because of the GPS tracking. So that's the. The, the total system that we talked about in the mobile care unit. And I think a lot of that's made possible by the fact that, the, that you have this improved call center. Well, the improved call center certainly enhances that, yes. So when people are looking for these type of systems, they need to ask questions. You have to, like anything in healthcare. I think we got your name, your phone number up on the screen, but what is your phone number, real quick? Yeah, our phone number is 1-800-910-1325. Thank you. It's a good show. Great show. Thank you. <clears throat> Appreciate it.